everyone, it's Lexi again. So a few of you guys here on YouTube as well as on Tumblr asked me how I did my wavy hair in my last video. So that is why I look like this right now because I'm gonna show you guys a quick video on how I normally get my hair to go all wavy. Hope you enjoy it. So I thought I'd show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I use in the shower. And the shampoo that I use is Aussie's Awesome Volume. And then I follow that with Aussie's Moist 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner. And I don't use a normal conditioner half the time and normally just use this. And what I'll do is after wringing out my hair in the shower to get just the excess water out of it, like it's still gonna be damp, but then I will finger comb this through my hair and then I will wrap my hair up and put it in a clip like this. And I'll just leave my hair like that for three or four minutes while I do a face mask or something like that. Just let the deep conditioner soak into my hair and then I'll just rinse it out. So after I get out of the shower, I'll throw my hair up in a towel like this. And then after a few minutes, my hair is quite wavy just from being up in that towel and I think that helps just because it's all scrunched together because you know how everybody when they let their hair dry you're going to be scrunching it which is what I'll do later is part of my process but I think this just helps to give it while it's while you're doing anything else your hair is already getting wavy. So one of the most important things when you're doing your hair is to always have a heat protectant if you're using hot tools and I'm going to be using a hair dryer as well as a bit of a flat iron later on. So the first thing I always spray in my hair is Tresemme's heat protectant called Heat Tamer Spray and you've seen a lot of people use this I'm sure so I'll just spray this all over my hair. Now that I've sprayed the Tresemme heat protectant through my hair, the key ingredient for the waves is what you need. And what I use is Josie Marin's Argan Oil Spray. It says for Bohemian waves. And I got this at Sephora. I believe it was kind of expensive, so a cheaper alternative that I sometimes use is John Frieda's Frizz Ease Dream Curl Spray. And I think this gives you a bit more of a softer wave than actual curl, whereas you saw in my last video, my hair was quite ringlets y almost. So I think this is your better alternative argan oil spray for um, getting actual curls and waves, whereas this is more of a beachy, soft kind of vibe. So my preference when I'm doing my hair is I like this top section to be more straight than curly, as you saw in my last video. So what I'm going to do is be spraying the argan oil spray just on the um, ends of my hair from about my ear down all the way around my hair, but not the top. Now you can skip this next step if you prefer, but what I like to do is take a wide tooth comb pick kind of thing and just comb all of the product through my hair. And the conditioner that we used earlier makes it so you just really have no knots, there's nothing to worry about there. step before I start hair drying just the front of my hair because I like these pseudo bangs to be straighter than the rest of my hair. What I will do is take that same comb as before and just brush forward the section that I want to be straight. So I'm just going to straighten, not straighten, blow dry this bit and what I will do then is take the same clip as before, roll up the rest of the hair that I want to be curly and just put that in the clip. So this looks really strange right now. For all you guys with shorter bangs, then it'll probably be a lot easier for you and you might not even have to do this step, but I just don't like having huge curls in the front of my face, so this is what I do. So here's how I blow dry the front of my hair. All I do is brush the front section in every direction, which I think gives it a little bit of volume, pointing the hair dryer straight down or just on that front section. So after a while, I'll start dividing my hair where I normally part it, the larger section on my left and then the small section on my right. I use a wooden paddle brush so that the brush bristles don't catch on my hair, which lets me just blow dry the right section part way down my head. So after all that blow drying, what I'll do is just take out the wavy hair out of the clip, and I'll just take with my fingers and scrunch the pieces that we had the argan oil mist so that they will get really pretty. And because this kind of looks, you know, obviously you can tell it looks, looks really different. What I do, just because my hair is longer, you won't have to really if your hair is shorter, I just take this straighter piece and I wrap it around the damp 
wavy parts, and then I'll stretch them all together. So that this part stays straight, which is what I like, but then the ends of the hair will merge into the wavy bits. You don't want the product to get sticky, the argan oil, because it has a tendency to do that if you just spray a lot of it in one place. That's why the scrunching helps as well. So now all I'm doing here is blow drying the roots of my hair because I want them to be smooth like the front section that I blow dried beforehand. Otherwise I think it looks a little odd having straight hair at the front of the top of your head, but wavy and air dried hair at the back of the top of your head. So that's why I'm blow drying. Now to define the wave some more, you just want to keep scrunching and twisting your hair, which is what I'm doing here. I forgot to mention, if you have naturally straighter hair, what you may want to do is split your hair in two and then leave out, if you want to part straighter like I do, then you can leave it out, but if you don't, then leave it all in, braid the two sides down, and then you want to twist those braids up and just clip them, and then you may want to blow either a hair dryer or a hair dryer with a diffuser on it, and that'll just let your hair dry in the braids and the waves, you'll already have the product in it, so you should end up with some nice waves if you've got natural straighter hair. So now because my hair is still wet, what I'll do is just leave it for a little bit to dry, and then I'll come back and show you what I do next. So while it's been drying, I've noticed that it's not as curly as in my last video, so what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit more of the argan oil mist throughout my hair while it's in this almost dry mode. And then I'm just going to keep scrunching, that is the key. While it's drying, you just want to keep scrunching it. Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry now, and it's a lot fuller than when it was wet because of the argan oil, which helps, and it's really wavy. So now I'm just going to take my flat iron, which is the KQC Turbo 2, which I got on flatironexperts.com, kind of faded, but I'm just going to use this to get the little curly bits around my hairline here, the little baby hairs, just because they kind of annoy me, but you don't have to do this part if you don't feel you need to, or if you just like how this looks. So now I'll just do this. Here's some clips of me acting like a total idiot just to show you guys the final product once my hair was completely air dried. you guys liked watching my tutorial on how to get wavy hair. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below if you tried any of the techniques or products that I mentioned because I want to know how it goes for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe as well because I have tons of videos planned for the next coming weeks as well as output of the days. You can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram and the links will be down below. Thanks for watching! Bye! Okay, so for the outside of my outfit, I'm just wearing this old leather jacket from the store Le Chateau, which I think might be only here in Canada. It's got these cool details on the back, as well as this pattern on the inside.